Altenburg in Germany, Friday night racing, the season opener for the Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. Good evening, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever it is you are joining us, whether you're tucked up in bed in Oberhof after a hard day's training or just thinking about starting your day. We're in for the first of our two heats in the season opener of the IBSF World Cup for Women's Bobsleigh. Martin Haven and sitting alongside me, John Morgan, one of the toughest driver's tracks in the business, this former secret East German and test facility. Yeah, it was built in the early 80s and nobody knew anything about it. I was here in 87, the first international event. It's called the Aero Cup and the track's been a challenge for any athlete that's ever come to this facility. Flat start. Here's our record holders, Myers and Gary of the United States. They'll be the first ones off for the competition and get in, get down, get around this first curve with no alteration. You don't want to screw up any part of your chance to accelerate your speeds. Now into this 3-4 combination. Curve 3, curve 4, the Omega curve. Big problems for the skeleton athletes to exit here. 4-5, to five, not for the bobsledders. But boy, you really have to have some free spirit here in this track on the top. Because this is where you accelerate, continue to accelerate. Pivotal part of the track, slingshot effect out of the Harold Shodai curve into this long straightaway, into the tightest Kreisel, 320 degree whip around where you exit underneath where you enter the curve. And 11, 12, there might not be a more dangerous two corner combination than any other place on the planet than those two. 14, you go uphill here, still accelerating, still can reach speeds of 77 miles an hour down here in the finish. And anybody's ever been down, I'll tell you, this is one of the most challenging tracks on the circuit. Olympic Championship pairing, Kelly Humphries and Heather Moyce holds the downtime record. And as you saw, Alana Myers and Sherelle Garrett have the start record, and they are teamed again today in our field. Air minus 0 0.5, I thought that, walking back to the booth just a few minutes ago. The snow is freezing, John. There's black ice out there as well as white ice on the track. Our crash test dummies, our forerunners are going down the track, making sure that conditions are good and the timing system works. And the ice was perfect. We've just finished the season opening women's skeleton. It was fast and fluid. So these women's bobsledders will certainly be taking a quick trip down the ice. And you can see there's the uphill section. It's where the track goes over and then comes back underneath up to the finish line. So we have a nine entry field. And you think, OK, where's everybody else? Well, predominantly, a lot of the other women competitors are in Winterberg. It's Europa Cup weekend in Winterberg and World Cup next week. Two weeks on the same track gives you a lot of testing ability. Alana Myers-Taylor and Sherelle Garrett are World Cup champions. Our world champions will lead off the field. And yes, Schneider Heinzer for Germany with rookie Sandra Cole making her first ever World Cup start. Two Belgian sleds, Austria here, Romania, and the USA and Canada will complete our entry. The 2015-16 IBSF women's bobsleigh season kicks off. World Cup and world champion Alana Myers-Taylor and Sherelle Garrett, the 31-year-old former brake woman from Douglasville, Georgia. Started driving 2010, and she is the benchmark in women's bobsledding. Well, we saw a track record at the start, skeleton a couple times. We could see one here. These two own it. There it is. <laughs> Big round of applause at the top, 5.56. A little tap up there, though. Looks at the runner adjustments. I mean, you see this track. It's glistening. And a lot of... Had some problems in practice, she crashed once, but there's a lot of people that crash on this track. A little rocky four to five, but she's smoothing this out. New art car livery on the BMW sled. Sets herself up for Chrysler, a couple bumps. There's the speed, look at the G-forces. Yeah. Five hits in that pressure point, 11, 12. Nothing more challenging than those two curves. Oh, she's got a problem. Let the sled get away from her. 
Hundred. Look at the speed. It'll accelerate a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. 69, 70 miles an hour. Top speed will be around 124. 57, 5 at the 37. Line. That's 650, 5600, 5700 slower than the track record. And if she would have been smooth, I think the track record would have been there. But, uh, you know, they didn't train at this time of the night. Yeah. They didn't train with the ice being spritzed like this. Oh, no. It was, uh, it was a different track. And there was a lot of weather conditions all week long in training. And here, 11 12, this is where it gets away from her. Back end skids right there. Now she's sideways going into 13. This is not the way you want to look at any curve. Holy moly. She was so close to rolling into the curve. Sherelle Garrett would have fe felt that in the back seat. When your backside's going sideways, you just cling on to the floor. Anja Schneider Heinz, a 37 year old German veteran, former Olympic champion, great woman, 2006 Torino with Sandra Kiriasis, started driving 2008. Double European champion as well as a brake woman. 29 year old Francisca Bertels is her powerhouse. I don't think this will be a track record, but it'll be within 500s. 1600s. Wow. This used to be one of the best starters in the world. Schneider Heights, in fact, was the brakeman on the 2006 Olympic Games gold medal sled and made the transition over to driver. And she's had success, but had a little inconsistency. It's been her nemesis. Schneider, 2,500s back, but if she comes clean off the Chrysler, she could claw all of that back from Alana Myers-Taylor. Look at her trying to get control. Speed, G-force. Flashing, flashing blades are what you want in box this led clean. All. She stopped the bleeding. Yeah. This is where she should get into maybe getting it down at 10 hundreds. She could be clean here. Speed, watch it again. Should get up to 119. 16 we saw from the Sandra. Only on her iron's 120. And then yeah, she brought it all the way back. Yep. Clean bottom half of the track put Anya Schneiderhouse in a chance to challenge Alana Myers. 300s of a second between them. That's a close race. Alana won six races last year. Schneidy won one in Samaritz. Kathleen Martini also a gold medalist last year. Martini now watching from the couch. She's retired from the sport. Well, look at these lines here. She was pretty clean, the bottom part of the track. This is up at nine. Comes off here a little late. Late, but she, look at her play with the runners to try and get control. She did, bottom part of the track. She was much cleaner than a lot of Myers, and that's why we have a race between those two at least. She's such a fun girl to be around. Schneider always has a smile on her face. Well, next up, a rookie for Germany. 37 is her teammate, 22, Sandra Kroll. Sandra started bobsledding in 2012. This is her third season, and she is the second fastest woman in Germany. Well, there's a story behind that. They're going to give up a lot of time here at the start. They're going to be maybe 30 hundreds behind here, I got you. Look at the speed on the left. That's a great indicator. 28 hundreds behind. I said 30. It was 28. Now, Sandra Kroll did not pass the German standard that you need to compete, but she was the only German female that had the FIB or IBSF requirement five tracks over two years yeah. to compete in the World Cup level. So the Germans had to say, bring her in. Didn't start fast enough, but she's an experienced oh, driver. she's a great driver. She's got Francisca Fritz behind her. Look at these lines. Speeds, great. Look at this, five, three Gs. Yeah. That's on that pressure point, the entrance of Chrysler. Even on the tourist taxi ride. Look at these really lines. The Gs there. Look at her, bring it back. She's coming down. She'll be within a quarter second of our leader. 114. She's got a 21. Down. This is, look at 121 cold speed, baby. She, she got could it. Be in the she had the best speed. Well. Look at the leader. She leads the race. Whoa. Whoa. Well, do you know what? She can't. Wow. She doesn't make the German standard. She shouldn't be on the track. <laughs> She's going to be surprised at this. This yeah, is her no first kidding. team ever. Watch this. She's going to be surprised. Wow. I think everybody's going to be shocked here. 
Sandra Kroll, Francisca Fritz. You can hear Anja Schneiderheinzer, and I'm pretty sure Francisca Bertels. And if you listen carefully, I bet you can hear Lisette Turner cheering all the way from Oberhof. That wasn't a Yarvol from Christoph Langen. That was a what? This is pretty good. She was much better up nine to ten, but this isn't bad here either. She had the best speed all the way down the bottom part of the track. Well, she can't start the sled, but boy, she can drive it much like the German skeleton athletes. <laughs> Don't get points for being fast at the start. You only get points for being fast at the finish. Next up, wow. It's already been a red letter day for Belgium with rookie skeleton slider Kim Milmans taking ninth on her World Cup debut. We've got two Belgian bullet sleds in this women's race. This is Anne van Nuenhuis, the 24-year-old physio student, ex-60, 100-meter and hurdle sprinter. Okay. Yeah. Young break woman behind her, Lowe Subrex making her World Cup debut, just 21, former heptathlete. Look at this, the speed. She's three and a half kilometers down to a lot of Myers and three tenths. Yeah. And that a lot, that velocity. But if she could drive clean like the German Sandra Kroll just did, but that's not clean. Four to five, really tricky transition. Now you're looking at different colored Belgian sleds. The Belgian bullet colors have gone away to the sponsor. Their bank colors, ABR Bank. Well, Belgium's football team are called the Red Devils. She's in the red here. But what has she got down the bottom part of the track? That's a good line there. That's Ooh. a little late there. Down to 27. This isn't bad. That's late. She gets away with it. She got 122 Speed kilometers there. Speed's flying. The Belgian sleds really fly. Wow, that's... Fourth place, 2,500s back. That's... that's Off a 6 zero, nine start. She started half a second back. She finished a quarter of a second back from the leader. She's... Last year, she was putting her time in. Yeah, former break woman. So, Anne, the first of our Belgian sleds down. That's a good-looking run. A little rocky, but pretty confident. This is this is a pretty good mistake up on three to four. She almost was trying to do what the skeleton athletes were doing. And here, look how high she gets. Too much pressure in 12. Yeah. But look at those pictures. A little airborne runner in the back, but she did not have as much problem as a lot of Myers did. 11-12 is such a vicious transition. Where do you see it in four man? Yeah. Christina Hengster of Austria. The veteran from Axum's just outside of Innsbruck, 15th in Olympic Games, 2012 junior world champion as a driver. She was a break woman when she started back in 2004, and she still has that power and physique. And Sana Decker behind her, just 22 years old, in her second season on the brakes. Well, she, she'll give up some time at the start, but this is a very accomplished driver. And watch the speed of the lap. Speed's one thing, start time's the other. Match the two of them up. She's 5, 8, 46 speed. She's also four tenths, almost three tenths, or three hundredths down in speed. Kilometers oh, down in speed to a lot of miles. Can't give speed away at the top of the track. You never get it back. Santa Decker, the brake woman, by the way, the reigning Youth Olympic champion in two women's bobsleigh as a brake woman. Brand new sled here. Scratkin sled, Latvian. I asked her why she bought a Latvian sled. She says, there's nothing else to buy. Yeah, they're the customer sled of choice, and the good thing is they fly. These are flying. She's really got it going here. Hundreds off the lead. Let's take a look at the speed then. We've seen Runner 124 tips. as a peak. Perfect. Right down Beautiful to the 100. Lines. She could be the leader here. 124 kilometer speed. She'll be it. Yes, she's got that easy. Is this new sled yeah. going to transform Christina Hengster's season? 57 26. She has the lead. Christina Hengster. Remember, the World Championships are in Innsbruck this year. Eagles are home track. Yeah. Listen. Last year, World Cup worst of 10th, best of 7th. Happy with herself. Look at the way she steers around that curve. I don't like that steering, and that steering caused this. Mm -hmm. 
She, where would she be with that, without that yeah. mistake? Didn't quite have the momentum to ride up the corner, well, but she, she leads. Down below. Great run from Christina Hengster. She leads from rookie Sandra Kroll with the World and World Cup champion in third. Next up is Elfa Willemsen. Elfa Willemsen. Uh -oh. Is she going to turn a string of podium finishes into a first win? This would be a great way to start the season. She's been quick in training with Sophie Verkreisen behind her. I don't want to do the commentator's jinx, but usually when you watch this girl drive a sled, it's like a video game. Yeah. Okay. These girls find so much speed on the ice. She's going to give up a ton here in the start. Doesn't barely get it. That's the same thing. Fifth best start. Not bad. A little tap there. That's unlike her. But the Belgian Bullets, they won their first medal here last year ever for Belgium in the women's bob. She's late there. Silver here. Well, she's Silver already got the lead. Time. Three hundredths of a second up. Look at the constant T loading the crew are under. Watch this G's get up to 5 4. 5 1. Exit. Look at the rudder tips here in the exit. That's perfect. See how much speed she gets in 12. She's down to 2. Doesn't have. Oh, she's late there. That's going to cost her. Is it going to be Austria or Belgium? Belgium 100 Top percent speed, behind. though. Top speed. She's coming back. She could get it to green numbers here. Going to be right to the 100. And the line, 500 Five behind and in third place. Christina Hengster, Sandra Kroll, Elfa Willemsen are your top three. Four different nations in the top four spots. It's pretty good. Yep. Top five sleds, top six sleds separated by 14 hundredths of a second. And at the moment, and only. We still got the double Olympic champion yeah. coming, and Jamie Grubel, the United States. Here's the mistake she made right here. Can't do that up top. Curves one, two, three. You got to be clean. This is from one to two. Oh, she's 500s behind. There's 500s of a second right there. That was tiniest more, error. More. Green jacket, Matthias Benesch, the man who operates this track now. Next up, Maria Constantin of Romania. She was a swimmer. That's where she got the nickname Flipper after the friendly dolphin. 400-meter runner as well. 24-year-old now from Bucharest with her 21-year-old brakeman, Andrea Greco. Greco's got a good athletic background, too. 100-meter sprinter. Both now live in Romania's capital, Bucharest. Had some great results last year in Europa Cup racing. And they're young. They were in Lake Placid. Ooh, that's a big mistake there out of the groove. She ran, the brakeman ran too far. Look at the least amount of speed of anybody, 38.5 kilometers. They were in Lake Placid in April. They were back in Lake Placid in October. So they're getting a lot of ice time. Paul the is their coach, trainer. He might have more trips down a bobsled track than anybody in the history of the world. As a passenger, you know, yeah. drives passenger sleds in Winterberg. Look at this G forces 5 2. These are good. Watch the runner tips here. Three pressures in the Chrysler. Good exit from them. 11 oh, to 12. Got too early. Early. Crossed over 11 to 12 too early. Runner tips here. She's drifting. Eighth place here last year was her best result of the season. Hot top speed was only 105, 109, 110, so 6300s. That's about right. There's Paul in the middle of the shot. 57.89. That's about what you expect. Seventh place. Sixth best start of the seven sleds. Well, there's lots to tidy up in the second heat. She'll be kicking herself all the way back up the track now. She shakes her head already. Now watch, I think the dryer or the brakeman runs too far. One, two, three. She should have been in. Oh, look at that power yeah. step. And then and that catches little power a foot. step yeah. that caught. That put the sled in a spin. She one less step, that would have been okay. That power step was the proper technique. She just ran one step too far, and then down here, 11, 12. I give anybody a yeah. break down there, 11, 12. That's uh, as challenging as it gets on any bob track in the world at speeds of 70 plus miles an hour. 
Jamie Grew will pose uh, Lauren Gibbs, 33-year-old from Lake Placid, former Cornell track athlete, and Lauren Gibbs, volleyballer from Denver, Colorado. We had Thanksgiving dinner yesterday evening with the American team, and they were in high spirits. Two new great women joining the crew, and they're already acting like they've been together for years. The in jokes and, and the fun and games when they're away from the track. Good start, good little drift there. For pretty good speed, not as much speed as her teammate Alana Myers. Tap there. Jamie got married over the summer. Christian Posier, member of the German Bob team. We'll see him tomorrow. Breaking. German number one sled. I hope his English is improving because her yeah. German's worse than it ever used to be. She couldn't even pronounce the name of the hotel they were in. Bottom of their sled, they got a big sign that says humble and hungry. Well, all athletes are always hungry. 5.5 G peak in the Chrysler. Look at the whip around there. You go from 3G one side to 3G the other. Only 1100s back. 22 is good speed, though. Maybe 128 here. She drives herself into pedal contention. Six, six of the line. 1800s back. John, this is so close. Yeah, there's 1800 separating the first six sleds. Now, the sleds Five, coming two, down two, now two, don't two, have that two, same ice as the first sleds. Well, let's see whether our Olympic champion can make a little bit out of what we've got here. Jamie Grew will pose to Lauren Gibbs, lying in sixth spot. Again, a little bit to tidy up in her second heat. Nick Taylor down there helping out. He'll be sliding in the men's competition. Lana Meyer's husband. So the Olympic champion, Kaylee Humphreys, now 30 years old, ex break woman from Calgary. And two-time world champion, Melissa Lotholtz, her break woman. 22-year-old sprinter from Barhead, Alberta. Well, they should get some good velocity here. They should get up around 43 kilometers. Watch it on the left. I tell you what, for Melissa Lotholtz, 572 start, that's not bad. Well, let's see how clean she is up here. Remember, we just saw Jamie Grubel make two mistakes up here. And the Olympic champion from 2010 and 14, Kelly Humphreys, is, was clean. And if there's anybody's ability to drive the track perfectly, right here. Boy, she's got a huge lead. She was the cleanest up top of anybody so far. She's been rewarded with that. Now she's running away with it. Look out. 3,600 up into the Chrysler. That's only turn 10 of 17. She yeah. could be a half second clear here if she's cleaned down the bottom. That's a great run down through 30. Runner tips, runner tips. Perfect. She's just going to separate herself from everybody else. Man, oh man. Best results last year. A silver a track record. Three goals. And wow. she is back at her very best. Well, I think so Kelly Humphrey said, I think I'm sick of getting beat. She didn't win last year. No. First time in her five years that she wasn't on the gold medal spot. Yeah. And I think she just made a statement. She posted the second best start time, and she separated herself by a half second. It's her race to lose. Justin Cripps down there helping with the sled. He'll be racing in the men's competition tomorrow for Canada. Kelly Humphreys, biggest job for Melissa Lotholtz is holding a candle to Kelly Humphreys at the start. She was a standout break woman, got injured before the games, never raced as Canada won as a break woman. She's the Olympic champion as a driver. So, Kaylee Humphreys with the lead of the competition by half a second. And that really separates her from the field. Second place is Christina Hengstra of Austria. Well, it was a video game, her drive down the track. Yeah. She was perfect. Everybody else had a lot of mistakes up top. You heard some banging. I don't think she touched a wall until she got down on the exit of 12th. 
So it was a, uh, what you would expect. Look at these lines. Did she touch out of it? Got it there. Just Look at her and Kreisel. Well. Now watch her exit Kreisel here. Watch the runner tips. She comes over to left side there, the coaches. They know what they just did. <laughs> Stefan Bosch looking happy with that. They should look happy. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? She just took everybody else was separated by 1800s, five spots. She's in the lead by half a second. Comes easy to Kaylee Humphreys because she works so hard at being the best. She leads by half a second from Christina Hengster. Rookie Sandra Kroll, the best of the Germans in third. Alpha Willemsen, Lana Myers Taylor, and Anya Schneider behind it's uh, rounding out the top half dozen. And uh, yeah. Kaylee Humphreys, you think that she is out of reach, and she probably is by now. Christina Hengster and Sandra Kroll, they will both be looking to put themselves on the podium here for Kroll. A first ever World Cup start could end up with a medal. And for Hengster, it'll be a great opportunity to take another career beating result. Kaylee Humphreys with the lead after the first of our two heats. Both heats count. Double Olympic, double world champion has a half second advantage. What will happen in heat two? You're gonna have to wait and see. We'll be back with the action from the second heat at 7.15 local, that is 18.15 Greenwich Mean Time here in Oxford.